Okay friends, now that we've spent some time reviewing our single eighth note, single T by itself, we're gonna really put a spin on it. So take a look here. Notice that this card has the two single eighth notes together, followed by a quarter, two more eighths followed by a quarter. Here's why using single eighth notes can be really useful. You might want a rhythm where instead of having those eighth notes side by side all the time, you actually put something new in between them, like this. So in this part of my example, notice I still have my two single eighth notes, but now in between them is a quarter note, okay? This is gonna really change up the feeling of our rhythm. And it's so special that it gets its own name in music terminology. It's called syncopation. Okay, so syncopation is when you have a rhythmic idea that might start on the steady beat and then it kind of continues off of the steady beat. Or maybe it starts on the off beat and then it catches up to the steady beat, okay? But when you see an eighth note followed by a quarter note and then followed by another eighth note, we're gonna call this syncopa, syncopa, Cinco pa, tita ti, tita ti, if I was using my more normal or more usual rhythm syllables, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to say cinco pa every time you see the pattern of these three notes, eighth note, quarter note, eighth note. Everything else I think will be very familiar to you. So let's try speaking and doing our new rhythm. Here I go right now. To cinco pa ta ta. To cinco pa ta ta. How did you feel about that? Was it confusing? Let's try another one. Please compare the one that we just did to the one in red that we're gonna try now. What's similar about these two? Oops, move my shadow. What's different? If you thought that it had whole notes together as a similarity, you're right. If you notice that there's flagged eighth notes, well, they both have that. But the one on the bottom has that syncopa pattern in the middle of the measure instead of at the beginning. So let's see what that sounds like. Ready, and twice through, go. To, ta, cinco, pa, ta. To, ta, cinco, pa, ta. Does that make sense how they are not exactly the same um, between the first and the last one we did, even though they use very similar rhythms? Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, this one's got the half rest in it, which we learned about a little while ago. Ready? Twice through, here we go. Ta, cinco, pa, ta. Ta, cinco, pa, ta. I like that one. Here comes another. Ready? And here we go. Ta, ta, ta. Cinco, pa, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Cinco, pa, ta. And the last one as we are looking at syncopation. Oh no, actually, this one we already did. We've done all the syncopation ones. So, don't be surprised if you see a lot of syncopated activities in the coming time. It's a really, really fun way to make music feel a lot less boring. And there's some really cool songs I'm going to share with you. So, until the next video, have a great one.